Sher Baba. We made rasam last time, and uh, today I promise, as I promised last time, that we'll be making mixed vegetable sambar. So I'll be starting with the scratch, wherein I have just kept my uh, pulse ready, and uh, rest everything. I'll be showing you one by one. Also, I have fresh vegetable here. That is, I'm just using plain capsicum wherein I could have used uh, many other, but making it very simple and very uh, straight for you. Here are the ingredients which we'll be uh. using. We have roughly chopped uh, capsicum and uh, nice big cubes of onion. As you can see, I have kept it all together. These are very nice and big cubes and also very roughly chopped onions tomatoes, oil, clear sunflower oil. This is as usual my key ingredient. This is asafoetida that is called hing in Hindi. We have salt, turmeric powder and chili powder. Very little and also soaked tamarind. This is soaked tamarind, which I have kept it just 5 to 10 minutes before, which I'll be squeezing out with my hands. So, back to uh, the stove. Yeah. So, I have kept the pulse ready. I have whistled it for uh, quite a whistle, like two whistles. Whistles means just giving them steam until it pops up. Sirika, yes. Yeah. Sirika, what is in that container? You need to refresh my memory. The container. Yeah. In this? No, the container. This the one? the little no the ingredient with the okay, yellow. Okay, okay. I'll I'll sh I'll uh, just show you again. Yeah, I mean I, I see the container, but I don't know what's in it. No, it's yellow. It's yellow. The, the, this one. The yeah, yeah, hing. Yeah. This is yeah. hing. This is hing powder. This hang. is uh, which is called asafoetida. This is hing powder, which is called asafoetida. We showed in the last session the photographs and everything. This comes in package. And there are many companies. I love to use LG companies because that's the. Uh, core company which started making it and still, still the the word can i see what the word is oh i know what it is okay okay yeah yes. yeah wow thank you yes <laughs> so we have this pulse ready with three whistles two to three whistles It is nice and hot. I've kept it ready earlier itself so that I can directly start making because it takes time. It is a three whistle, nice, softly uh, cooked, steamed, whistled pulse. You can use any of the pulse, whichever you like, you can use that. So after this is done, you just have to mash it like this so that it is soft and nice. Is it right. moong dal? It is tuar dal that I'm using today because sambar okay. is more of making with tuar dal. It gives the original taste. And because it's also said that tuar dal is the richest dal in all the pulses. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, we'll be starting up with heating the second pan. This I am using clear uh, pan because so that I can show you all the vegetables and everything very clearly. From the very beginning, I'll be starting with adding three to four tablespoons of oil. This is clear oil. We leave it to pop up. We have fresh curry leaves. We have fresh curry leaves, which I'll be just plucking. 
which I'll just plug like this very nicely. After this, I'm adding almost one tablespoon of mustard seeds, rye, that is rye. Once the seeds are all popped up, we'll just wait for the seeds to pop up. And then we can use just keep it to middle. I've also kept something to drink for me <laughs> because I knew this would be a long one. <laughs> so yes. I have so to say, uh, Sirika, you always look so lovely. Uh -huh. uh, and it's, Thank it's you. so, yeah. And I, I, I remember Mara saying, Baba likes us to look nice. He likes us to look nice. <laughs> So uh, once all the seeds get popped up, we'll add the curry leaves. And I'm sure you'll want to be, you'll want to step back because this really comes up because the oil is very hot and the curry leaves are were slightly wet because I washed it after plucking it from the tree. We have a very big curry leaves tree that is sweet name. So it was freshly plugged. see all the vegetables, the onion, the capsicum, curry leaves coming together and we'll just cook it until it is slightly light brown. While we add onions and uh, turmeric, we'll add salt. A little turmeric powder. Salt is something that you have. We can choose on our own how much to add, so that it is as per our convenience. This is really a different uh, look for me to cook because my stove always stays that side, <laughs> and I see the outside view. But we're trying different today. These onions and capsicum have to be cooked very gently because we want it to be soft and the onions, the sweetness of onions to rise up because if we cook it very harshly, it might burn. So I have just kept it to medium heat, and not very high. And we'll cook it very, very gently. Now I'm going to just mash these um, tamarind in the water with my own hand. I'll squeeze all the juice out. This is just normal plain water. It's no hot water, no lukewarm water. If, it, if you have refrigerated the tamarind, I'll suggest you to keep it uh, in lukewarm water, but it was kept outside. At it gets seasoned when it's outside and it gets stored and preserved when it's in refrigerator. So we keep it outside because the seasoned ones are more tastier and yummy. <laughs> yes. Once this is done, we'll just add, I'm just filtering the tamarind using my hand because we don't want the pulp to come. And I'm squeezing out the pulp so that we can have more juice.
While doing this, you have to be cautious that you don't get your hand burned because while adding water, it can splash on your hand. Now is the time when we add the spices. We have added tamarind water and now we are adding chili powder. This is plain raw chili powder which was made at home. We brought dried red chili, we roasted it on the pan and then we just powdered it at home itself so that we don't get all the other chemicals that are actually present in company made uh, or any outside uh, chili powder. I'll add little bit of freshly chopped coriander leaves in this so that we have the coriander taste and we'll mix it very 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 gently after a single boil you can see there is little little boils that are coming up we'll add chopped tomatoes these are nicely chopped tomatoes we're not very fine but just fine so that I can just cover this pan cover this lid and cook it very gently and very softly we are just adding tomato uh, in a very uh, you know less amount why because we have already added tamarind both of it are slightly you know mm, sour you can say and it might disturb your taste so we have to balance the taste that's it I'll be covering this with a lid This is just to give and all the vegetables and masalas and everything to be in the vegetables and it does not evaporate out and goes out. So we'll be keeping it as it is and now I'll be adding water to the pulse and I'll be mashing it with this. think we need a transition yes that's a nice and liquid form it's not thick it's nice not very thick not very plain and very liquidy Surika is, is your cameraman uh, is is he a relative or your who is the yeah, cameraman he, he is our cousin Prasad ah he studies here, he stays here. He's just in grade 12. <laughs> wow, wow. Oh, that's good, that's good. <laughs> so he's doing it alone? He's there and then uh, for the laptop and son sound and everything, Praveen is helping. Okay. Helping Praveen. <laughs> Praveen is your husband? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So yes, we have kept it for quite a time now. I can see the vapors coming out from the sides, the corners, the outsides. That means it's nicely cooking and all the essence, all the flavors are getting into um, good form. And blending. Yes, they are all blending together, coming and blending together. Sarika, can you help me with what is Paul's? This is tuar dal. Um, pulse is all the, uh, you know, grains. Lentil? It's a, is that the yes, lentil yes. pea? Yes, lentil uh, seed. And the chili powder. Was that a combination of chilies you or know, just one there. chili? No. Baba liked to have dal rice a lot. And this is the uh, one of the uh, dals. 
which was, uh, you know, which I think was served because this is the king or the queen in all the pulses. <laughs> So that's why I like to prepare dal more in every day, almost in every meal we have any one of the pulses made. I guess now we can open the lid. Because it's time to add lentils. Wow. Wow. It smells really, really delicious. Making me hungry. <laughs> it is really um, mouth watery for me right now. Yeah. Because this form is not what we. <laughs> generally make every day on everyday basis wow. this is special <laughs> in this you can add any vegetable that you want any means any you can add brinjal you can add um, lady's finger you can add uh, drumstick Beans, carrots, radish. Wow, this looks nice. I would like to taste it, but I cannot. So I'm just leaving it as it is. When you start cooking, you'll start enjoying cooking and you'll start to, uh, you know, mm, recognize all the flavors by, by smelling. Uh -huh. Since childhood, I had a habit of smelling sugar and salt. I never tasted any of my food while cooking. That's where I also learned that you should be tasting it because uh, sometimes <laughs> it can be on and off when you change the company. Company as in uh, there are different kinds of salt companies that come up with high, sh high sodium and less sodium and right. things. <laughs> so when it changes, you have to taste it. So <laughs> whenever, when it, if, it, if the salt is less, that's better. But <laughs> if it is more, that's a punishment. <laughs> <laughs> It's better, it's better to have a taste while cooking itself. It's a good habit. I have heard this thing from Jordan Ramsey saying, if you are not, um, if you're not tasting your food, you're not a chef, you're not a complete chef. Uh, you, have yeah. to taste it. you have to taste it before serving it. Now I'm adding very, very nicely this freshly chopped coriander leaves. Now this ingredient that is asafoetida, which you were asking, I'll be adding it at a very later point because this gets evaporated very easily. But I have already added it while boiling the pulse. Just a pinch is fine. So after I'll show you after this is nicely boiled, we'll cover it. And I would like to zoom in here because I'll be adding only this much, very, very little. This much is very fine for this whole dish. So I'll be adding it later after we have a good boil. You can see the uh, foam here coming up. This is the boil. That will come up nicely. Sirika, you, uh, I, I, I remember hearing the story, Mara telling the story of, I, I can't remember if it was Ram or Krishna, but there was this woman and she'd taste these berries, a little bit of the berry, because she didn't want to give the I think her name was Sumitra, 
she'd take a little pinch because she wanted to give Krishna the sweetest berries. And uh, I, I love that story. It, was it Sumitra? Do you know a story like that? But it, I thought of that when you said you need to taste your food, you know. Is it? Uh, there are actually plenty. I don't know all. But definitely it could be because, uh, you know, basically their bond was so close that um, since uh, the very childhood, they keep uh, all the, uh, you know, essences, all the tastes given to the kids, to the small babies. They start with it. So it is, I guess, one of the good stories I might have missed or I might have known, but I don't recollect it right now. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. You know, once once the baby starts, because uh, once the baby starts, <coughs> they are given lentils water and rice water because they cannot digest it. Here, they, uh, you know, in India, generally, they don't start uh, giving the packed foods. I'm sure uh, in Western countries also, they give soups. I, what I have heard is they give soup, vegetable soups, very the, what, uh, what it is called, a stock, vegetable stock and uh, nice uh, juicy things so that it's nicely digested to kids. Now, I was running here and there just before the session because we had a very tight day. We had a very tight schedule and since last two days. And in fact, I brought the, uh, what to say, the ingredients just 15 minutes before this. <laughs> and it's, it's terrifically hot right now in India and in Mehrabad and Ahmednagar. It's really, really hot. The temperature is between 45 to 48. You're in Marabad or are you in Pune? Where are you? We are in Marabad. Marabad, oh. oh. So this, the temperature right now, which we've, uh, we have known today is 43. But it's really hot. Even the AC start working very slowly. Even <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> uh, the uh, you know, uh, desert coolers, are working very slowly because they definitely take help from outside atmosphere and ah. <laughs> isn't helping them. Wow, it looks good. Yeah. It's nicely boiling. It's it's not very thick. It's not very th uh, very uh, watery, but nice so that it can coat whole rice. I don't like it very watery because. The rice is uh, separate and the uh, dal is separate. The sambar is separate. So that's it. It's all ready. Uh -huh. We already have cooked the uh, pulse and we have already uh, cooked the vegetables with closed lid. It's just that we have to bring it all together, give it a boil, add all the masalas, tamarind water. Last but not the least, I'm adding this Hing powder that is asafoetida very gently because I will be turning off my flame and giving it a mix. Wow. How much hing do you use? Sorry? How much hing do you have to put? We just added a half a teaspoon. Even a pinch is fine. If you're adding it twice, then two pinches in the second one and one pinch while giving it a boil while giving the oh. pulses a whistle yes that so you can so. put the hing even in the pressure cooker yes yes so that it's all inside the pulse it's all inside the um, dal okay. you can Thank be generous you. with coriander leaves because it just gives good taste. We haven't added here coriander powder because uh, I wanted this to be very, uh, you know, organic kind of a form. And we didn't have our homemade coriander powder this week. We'll be making it before the monsoon now because that is the time when it gets, uh, now is the time when it gets dried and uh, grinded. 
before monsoon so that uh, there is no moisture in the coriander seeds we have, before uh, before making the uh, homemade masalas we have to actually show some we have to keep it in um, sunlight so that it's nice dry and crispy and also then we'll roast it in a kadai then we'll make its powder that we can have fine 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 powder at home because what i have heard recently what i have read recently um, in many of the uh, youtubers or many of the chefs um, teaching that companies to make the quantity more to make the packets heavier they mix husk or the wheat waste they use waved wheat uh, so that they can make it more heavier and uh, the quantity of their main ingredient is reduced so that is what we are now practicing at home to clearly use homemade masalas we have oh. just made a garam masala we have just made chili powder here now we'll be making the next week we'll be making coriander powder at home itself and later on i'll also we'll also be making uh, what you said fenugreek powder and uh, curry leaves powder which will help us to restore um, their essence in nice and good container because it's it's very difficult to have good aroma and everything during monsoon and uh, you know uh, winters because winters is a dry season wherein the leaves get dried and monsoon is where they get plenty of water and then also along with that they um, get all the small 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 insects they eat them up <laughs> wow. so yes baba having tea baba having food yeah and uh, this is baba in uh, jabalpur the other mm -hmm. picture yeah yeah that's on christmas day 1938 uh -huh. i love that picture So yes, today's dish, our sambar, is ready, well to be served, heartfully to be eaten. <laughs> and yes, it is really, really easy to make it, though it looks difficult, but it is really easy to make it if you have all the ingredients as ready as I have kept it. It's actually a good practice. I haven't mm. chopped it in front of you. Uh, because I have a very strict uh, way of uh, keeping and chopping and pr proceeding with all the work here. I keep a towel below, then keep my uh, chopping board, chopping everything up and cleaning everything along with the towel. Wow. So that the platform is not dirtied and also the chopping pads, the chopping trays are not be moved with all my ah. who ta who taught who taught you your cooking you learn it from a parent or what i have uh, learned uh, you know the, it can be a ratio of uh, 50 50 from my mother and from praveen's mother we ah. have been uh, cooking in two different forms of um, you know, uh, two different forms of cooking because I am from South India and Praveen is from North India. That is Maharashtra. Hello. Uh, yes. Do you make do you make idlis? Yes, we just had it day before yesterday. I love I love idlis. I love idlis. Yesterday we had dosa and sambar. So that's that's South India idlis. Yes. Yeah. All the yeah. rice made dishes are uh, South India dishes because uh, they grow rice more there and all uh, wheat chapati bread and pao puri and everything is not because they grow wheat here so it's all regional uh, agricultural foods that they have as their staple food and easy to digest easy to you know find easy to get it if you go to south india You'll find one, uh, you know, um, what to say, um, 
here it is called Ata Chakti, but the, the grinding uh, shop where they grind wheat. A mill. Mill. Yes, yeah. the wheat mill, you'll get one in 10 lanes in South India, but here you will get 10 in one lane. <laughs> so that's the so. difference. And really the cost of rice varies in the same way. There are more than 100 forms of, 100 types of rices being grown in South India. There wow. are steam rice, wow. brown rice, black um. rice, red rice, and um, even in steam rice, there are different kinds of steam rice. Even in uh, boiled rice, there are different kinds of boiled rice. So we've just been practiced to get to eat whatever we locally find it. And that is more uh, good. Why? Because uh, if the soil itself has decided what to grow where, who are we to change the format? The nature, God himself has decided what is to be you know, uh, eat and wear. Yeah. Ah. We just follow, we just follow what they have given to us. So, so uh, what, what state in India were you from in the south? I'm from Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Chennai. I, yes. I, uh, I'm from, I'm from proper Chennai. And, uh, I but I don't, yeah. I don't see it on my map. Is that a town or is, I'm on it's, states. It's, it's, it's wasn't, uh, wasn't it Madras before? Me, yes, that, yeah. that means Madras. Yeah. Earlier it was called Madras. But Madras is not a state. It's, it's a city in a state. Yeah. It's yeah. Tamil What's Nadu the name of the state? Because then I can look. I have Tamil a map. Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is the state. I, Tamil Nadu you, is the state. Tamil Nadu. City is Chennai. Oh. Chennai is the town. It's uh, Karnataka, you know, would be a state. So what state? I, I still not getting state. State is Tamil Nadu. T A M I L. Oh, I Tamil see. You're right, you're right at the tip. Oh, yes, right oh the yeah. Tip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I can look it up that way, yeah. Yeah, so this is our Baba's uh, small, wow. small, small uh, nice. <laughs> mandal that we keep. That uh, lamp, that oil lamp always stays. Uh -huh. We never let it lit off. Uh -huh. And also we have a big Baba's photo, which I can, uh, I'll, we'll, I'll ask them to try if they can show it on camera. That is years old photo i guess when um praveen's father he came into baba's contact more than 25 years ago he uh, bought this photograph for home wherever they got shifted they um, had this photograph of baba all the time which which one do we see it i yes yes we are just oh, oh yeah oh. Yeah. what do they yeah. call that the the Dadar photo, is that right? The, Darbar photo. Yes. Darbar, yes. Darbar. Yes, and also we have that peacock feather always with Baba. <laughs> I'm not sure we have a certain attachment with that peacock feather. Uh, we always keep it. And Very nice. nice. It's, it's Krishna's symbol and Baba is Krishna. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you so much, everyone. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sarita, before you leave, would you care to accent your dish with a song? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, for, uh, for Baba. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, oh, sure, I, I sure, saw sure. you. I saw you on a Zoom. You were singing with a group. Uh, yeah. Praveen, Praveen just got up and he said that I'll bring Duff. We'll sing. Uh, oh, nice. I wish we could eat your doll. <laughs> it looks oh, so it's good. Really tasting. It is really uh. smelling very delicious. And um, uh. <laughs> I think I have still to make my dinner. I'll be making mutter paneer. I have all the ingredients ready after this. I'll be making that. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh. Okay, <laughs> so. Demanded. Wow. <laughs> so are, are we going to get a little song? Yes. Sharika. He's yeah. bringing yeah, the yeah. duff. Yes, yeah. Praveen is playing duff. I'm not okay. sure which song yes. I'll be singing. Yes.
I'll make way for Praveen. Oh, your family is so lucky to have you cooking for them. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my I, I, I didn't mention, I met Ajay from London. He has come to Mehrabad. Oh, we met oh. in Pune. But we could hardly catch up after that because uh, we had so many uh, other um, stuffs going on. He is in NPR. He's staying in NPR, I suppose. Yes, he, he even invited us for a meal <laughs> there, but yeah. we hardly could find any time to go there. Wow. We went to NPR last to last Sunday. Do you have opportunities to uh, chat, to talk with Alan Wagner? Uh, do you no, ever get together? Have yes, we do get together, but uh, we, have, we haven't had any time to have a good chat because we are very fond of all of his kinds of cakes that he makes. So <laughs> whenever we go, we, uh, we are just talking about food, cake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have requested him to teach me that, and I'm yet to go and find some time to learn from him. Uh, he is a fine cook, I must say. Yes, he. And there's uh, so much to learn from be. him. Yeah. yeah. We always meet during Guni, and uh, he lives very close to our house. Like it's quite a distance of ten minutes, but it's still very close. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday we were on Zoom. We were celebrating Ted Judson. His birthday yesterday was, was yesterday. Birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. He just did such Uncle, a good Uncle job. Mm -hmm. he, and uh, Fred, Fred Stankus passed away this morning on Ted's birthday. Mm -hmm. a, a, a Baba lover. Yeah. yeah. Fred's day to say Jay Baba and goodbye, more or less. And Ted's birthday, all in once. Did you know Fred Stankus, Eureka? Big tall fellow from California. He sang, he sang that song, Mind, 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 Stupid Mind. Why don't you go away and leave me behind? Oh, it's funny. Oh, you know him, Fred. Thank you so much. We we uh, are still to go and meet him. We, you know, that is what is said that when we live apart, we we find time to uh, meet each other. But when we live uh, together, <laughs> when we are close, we hardly get any time to be together. Uh, uh, oh, right. So yeah. we will definitely be catching up with everyone here slowly. Last one week yeah. was really uh, very difficult for us to even step out of the home because oh, of the it was so hot. heat yes yes it's terrifically hot outside oh. so i have this one song it's a song which is uh song, i must say anyway you can uh, work with the volume for your microphone, you're little, you're a little bit low, your volume. Is it? Is it? Am I, am I clear now? Or is it loud? It's, no, it's not too loud. It's, it, it's good. It's good. It's good. I kept my mic upside down. I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> managed it. The mic better, better your mic than outside. you better your mic than your cooking upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Is my voice clear now. It's clear. It's clear. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I still, still soft. Yeah. I would ask Praveen to join me here. So he's not. Yeah. So who can ready. who knew about Baba first? You or Praveen? Praveen, because he was brought to Baba Samadhi the next day when he was born. Oh, wow. Baba took almost 27 or 24 years to meet me. <laughs> wow. I, met, wow. I, met, I, I actually came in contact with Praveen in 2009, and since then I know him. And at that time I was almost 19 or 20 years. And yes, I forgot to mention, today is our fourth anniversary as well. Oh, 
अवतार महल बाबा की जय जय महल बाबा जय बाबा थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच ब्यूटीफुल it's it's from a very it's from a very beautiful um hindi movie it's a old movie uh which says that um you know there is radha and there is meera uh, they say that uh radha is the worldly uh lover like maybe like a common person who loves krishna and she wants krishna and meera is the devotee meera is like mehra mai she just wants you know she is happy with just the name of krishna <laughs> and there's one more stanza in this that you know actually uh it says that one is the queen and other one is somebody who is just who is just lean with uh, just the name chanting his name with the uh, with her instrument and she could see krishna with all uh, with even her closed eyes uh-huh. and she is said the maddest person that's why it's called pagli <laughs> and radha is somebody who has a temper who will just run around looking for krishna in the lawns and the garden in the house and temples and everywhere and she'll always complain that i cannot find krishna but meera sitting at one place just chanting his name she'd say i <laughs> found krishna within <laughs> my eyes <laughs> thank you so much thank you, thank you so much you we so have much. to thank we have so to much. close now because we have a yes. new meeting coming yes. we love this so much thank, thank you so much baba yeah जय बाबा अवतार मेहर बाबा मेहर बाबा